eight if you aren't <laughs> Spanish speaking. Eight. Which we're not either. I'm trying to think of other, oh my god, I'm trying to think, brain fart, I'm trying to think of other languages to say eight in. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> Un, deux, trois, huit. I don't know what's or, further after for French. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, sept, huit. It's huit. Huit? I believe so. Huit? That's the only thing huit. I know in French. I don't know. I didn't pick up Anybody know for German? Lying. Please send it to us. I <laughs> don't know any of that. The only thing I learned, well, my friend was telling me, like, ich bin Ivern something. Like Verna, I think he's used to say Verna I can, I can do Japanese like, a little. Itchy knees, then she go. Itchy knees, then. That's all I know. That doesn't get me to no, eight, though. Eight. But we're episode oh, yeah. eight, guys. Episode eight. I forgot. We started getting off on a tangent. <laughs> That's how today has been. We've literally sat here for about an hour talking about tons of stuff. About what we wanted to talk about. And then uh, also found a classic song. Yes. Called Toot It and Boot It, which we highly recommend. We can't, we can't share that yet. Why? We're we'll getting to it on, fine. In, in an, fine. later yeah. on. Fine. Now they're already listening to it and I turned off are. our podcast. No. Because they'll, they'll they're dancing. Or you're playing it like quietly in the background as you listen toot to us it talk. Toot It and Boot It. <laughs> whoa, whoa. All right. Yeah, sorry. So welcome. You guys are awesome. Episode 8. Everybody's been um, a great follow. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I was playing with my octopus. <laughs> it's been, yeah, it's been fun. We've been having a lot of fun doing all these um, and getting the, uh, what's the word? Oh my God, words. I feedback. Feedback's the word. We're getting like good feedback and like people have been following us on Instagram, which is a lot of fun. And then if I'm posting stuff, I'm getting like DM'd like, oh my God, that's amazing. I'm like, thanks, thanks. Have a wonderful day. Like stuff like that. So it's been kind of nice to have like a little bit of like outside interaction because I'm a hermit. She is. So it's been like, yeah. Because they're like, hi, Bridget. I'm like, meh. And I just kind of like... We're, we're trying to get walk out. Bridget out of her little um, shell. It's a, it's a colorful one. It's it a is very really colorful. Shell. And we want to share Bridget's little colorful egg that's inside. <laughs> Wait. This... <laughs> I feel like when you're saying that, like in my brain, I see you busting out of like aliens. No, I was thinking oh, of um, I was, Ace Ventura through the rhino. What? <laughs> so <okay>. Bridget's burst. <laughs> so okay, you were going with Ace Rhino, but I was going with alien chest bursting because you said egg inside, and like that's this. Yes, yes, and that's how they like put it. They like mouth rape you and put it in there, and then they're like, and it comes out like that. Hello, my baby. Yes, Hello, my dog. that's what I was imagining. Oh my god, we're space balls. Speaking, well, not space balls, but thinking, speaking of aliens, the Prometheus ones, like, that shit's rough, like, to watch when really? it's, like, face raping people. It's rough. The other thing, because we had mentioned Storm, or Starship Troopers. Yeah, that kept popping up in my conversations this whole week, which is crazy. So, it actually is going to be a showing at the Alamo. Shut up. So, I thought of you, and we, we should totally to go. go and just have a girl date oh my of God. watching Starship Troopers. Mm -hmm. I love that movie. I'll send it to you via email, okay. and we'll get that taken I care of. I love that movie. It is so much fun. It's wow. been years since I've seen it. Well, probably not years. Maybe years. It's been years since I've seen it. I was literally in high school. Really? Which is years ago. No, I really... Yeah, no. Send it to me. I'll totally want to see. Cool. Real quick, we'll do some shout-outs. Again, if you want awesome fucking art for your wall, go to shadart.biz. And if you have any questions of things that are coming out, press releases, comics, reviews, go to wordofthenerd.com. Um, and I actually have a shout out today. What? I uh, know. <laughs> Just because I never have anything. Um, I actually ran into a fellow geek this week and found huh. out, yeah, fellow geek this week and found out that she, I didn't, it wasn't even on my radar, but the cosplay bakery um she's awesome we clicked we had so much fun together and then i just like started stalking her instagram so if you guys don't already know her check her out the cosplay bakery um her and her husband do cosplay and she was just really awesome to meet so yeah shout out yay i had one yay i'm so one. excited she's growing up guys no. this is great friends, <laughs> friends. <laughs> so we both are currently in a funk. funk. This whole I don't know how long yours has been going on, but I think this whole month has just been It's only two utter, weeks in. Which has been <laughs> utter garbage. And I want to crawl into a tiny area like underneath my desk and cry. Mine's been like ugly cry, like sobbing. Full body sobs. Full body sobs. Like, not like now. those weird aliens. 
they're like and they're like spine like come with (laughs) (laughs) you see oh you haven't seen scary movies which alien are you talking about like it's spines out there it's not crying like you just see spines there yeah you're talking about like an alien movie where he's like 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 they're crouched and you're like looking over there and then all of a sudden they like turn around (laughs) (laughs) was that creepy (laughs) Well, you were taking it to a place of sadness, and now I'm just, like, feeling like if I saw you like that, and you were in, like, a, like, you've been having a garbage oh, fire of a week, and then I see you, and you're saying, oh, I'm, like, hunched over like an alien where you see their spine, I'm kind of afraid and wouldn't approach you, versus where, like, when I have a garbage fire of a week, like, it's been, like, getting kicked in the face a lot, I want to just, like, sit at home and just eat all the food, Well, I want to eat all food, too. I literally came over, like, before we started, and I'm like... Didn't even ask you. I just opened up your fridge. I'm like, I'm having some of your fucking cookie dough. <laughs> well, and I you just like, went, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Jessica Day. Yeah. Like, just in, or like, um, oh, Nick, watching Dirty Nick when, he gets, when he gets broken. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. She's just like crying. Yeah. It's like that. I literally feel like that. Oh. Uh. So, we were wondering, because both of us kind of had a shit day. I've been having a shit month. Mm. Um, so, we thought we could cover... What do you do to get out of your funks? Yeah, like, whether it be, like, having a bad week, a bad day, if you just, like, feel down. Because sometimes I'll wake year. up. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, and there's some days, like, I'll wake up and feel just kind of, like, melancholy. Where I'm like, oh, I really don't want to go do anything. Or I just kind of, like, don't want to go to work. Like, what do you do on those days? Or if you've had, like, a bad week, you're like, how do you do, like, what do you do to kind of feel better? Um, we both, obviously, our problem is Food. eat. Yeah. Yeah. It's our first go-to. I'm like, I'm going to fucking eat. I eat my feelings. Yeah. I eat because I'm unhappy. You know, I'm, unhappy I'm unhappy because, because I eat. <laughs> uh, I I literally connected yeah. with Fat Bastard, like, yeah. instant. I was I, like, yeah. oh, that's what I look like. I, you do not look like that. I do. You don't. You're not nearly as hairy. Your neck looks <laughs> like a vagina. <laughs> I, like, eating, yes, I try not to, like, go directly to that, but, like, I'll also do it when I'm bored Mm -hmm. or playing video games or something like that. Um, I feel like constantly I have to have something while I'm playing. Yeah, or, like, if my husband's eating and we're watching TV or a movie at night, then I automatically am, like, looking for something to snack on Mm because, like, he's eating and it's, like, setting me off to that I should be eating, too, and it's, like, midnight. I'm like, I don't need to be eating. I'm not even hungry, and I'll just grab stuff. So, like, that's one thing that I'm trying not to do. Um, vacations, like, unplugging, just going away, and just even going up north or doing, like, a thing in California, just, like, kind of getting out and doing something, being out in the sun, taking the day off if I feel that shitty. Like, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm really shitty, and I'm like, uh, I'm going to benefit no one if I go into the office, and I will take the day off. Um, and luckily, like, even though it's been kind of shitty for the last couple of days, we've also been getting rain, which for me is a perk. Because I yeah. fucking love thunderstorms, and when it rains here, it's so rare, but I'm like, oh, great, I'm just going to, like, stay inside, open all my fucking windows, and, and I, just hang We out talked about rain. this last um, episode, that we love rain. Oh, yeah, with the But I so feel hot, like I can't talking. even... Sticky ass in the car, remember? Correct. <laughs> uh, but I feel like I haven't even been happy that it's been raining. Like, I'm so upset. I've been so down, <laughs> my friend. So down. Yes. And now I really want ice cream. Because <laughs> we've talked about it. Well, the other thing, like, so and when we... Oh. With french fries. Like, seriously, yesterday, I had to go get Five Guys french fries and dump it on top of my chili. I was like, no, I'm going to be good. I'm going to eat it. Fuck it. But not the Five Cajun guys. ones. Cause I did bottle. not. <laughs> but the chili made that happen instead. <laughs> the good double. Damn. One, two, punch. Bring, bring, got it. <laughs> Don't neglect the, the brain. brain. Um... I, yeah, I don't, hold on, my brain is trying to figure out what the fuck we just talked about. Hold on, wait, what? Chili, french fries? Okay, I'm coming back to the same page. So, speaking, side side note on burgers, like, if you could eat one thing every day for the rest of yeah. your life. Straight down burgers. Burgers. Granted, I'm saying, like, you can have, like, a variety of different things. We're not stuck to the same thing, like, burger or pizza. I literally have burgers in the afternoon, and I'll be like, oh, I could go for a burger tonight. Like... Non-stop. This also reminds me, you guys need to know this because it's hilarious. You were telling me about the glory of the Dutchman? What the Flying fuck? Dutchman. Oh my god, I never heard of this thing and you describing it sounds like the most epic fucking meal. Did you go? I haven't had it. I went to Five Guys go. instead. I totally went to Five Guys because yeah. of what you said. I was like, oh man, I, but I didn't get a burger. Uh, I just got the fries, which is probably worse. 
Dude, and you know what's bad is they put the calories up on the menu. I don't look. Oh, shit, dude. So then they're going up. It's like, oh, it's this much and this much. And then you see the fries and they're much. And you're like, oh, fuck. Like, fuck it. I'm doing it anyway. No, I did Five Guys for the bun. But you're telling me this, like, flying Dutchman thing yeah. is, like, no bun. But it's, like, four fucking patties yeah. from In-N-Out. With in a box. Cheese in a fucking box. They literally give you a box of meat, which is amazing. Like, <laughs> Speaking of so calories... Good. And that's funny that you say that, that they, did they just recently put the calories up for Five Guys? No, I've never seen up, it. I think it's been up there for a while. I think you just fucking don't look at it. <laughs> oh. Well, the other day when I asked to go get uh, French fries. Yeah. Steve came back and was like, oh, the dude was, he ordered two French fries and the guy's like, no, this, like, this is really big. Fuck well, you, well, don't tell me how to order. Right? I was like, how rude. Well, that's weird. Like, did he look at you and go like, oh, man, you, you're not going to be able to eat this. Like, there's other people at home that I could finish all two of those like, bags, buddy. Number one, like, I don't feel like I talk anyone out of less food. Like, right? Why? That's like bad customer service going, hey, bro, I don't think you want that many. One is enough. I'm like, He doesn't one, know that there's a crazy you. menstruating bitch at home. Yeah, but it's that's like me, by yeah. the way. That was me. Yeah, man, hormones. <laughs> fucking struggle. I needed my french fries. I was going to kill somebody. Because mm-hmm. I ended up with french fries and a Wendy's Frosty. Is what Woo-hoo! happened. We are totally french fry besties. Jesus. But again, like that's horrible customer service. Like if some guy was like, oh yeah, no, you don't need all of that. I'm like, don't fucking tell me how to live my life. You can and go numerous like, different ways. Okay, now are you so calling sweet. me fat? Yeah. Or are you trying to say that I can't finish this or I shouldn't finish this? But I'm I feel like, to. but now like if they tell you, oh no, you shouldn't have it. And I feel like, oh, are you telling me I can't finish it? Cause, Cause I, I will. fucking will. Like, but I then I'll sit there and challenge. be sick. Cause I'm like, <laughs> I'm going to fucking finish yeah, this. I'm going to eat it. He fucking challenged me. He puffed his chest out like a fucking silverback gorilla. And I'm like, challenge accepted. Watch me eat all this. No one's going to see me eat this. I'm just going to watch like eat it at home alone by myself crying as I finish it. And then feel like. Like, you breathe heavy, because mm-hmm. it's so heavy, you're like, oh, I've accomplished something. Like, what's the point? What's the fucking point? But yeah, no, I'm still upset that he was suggesting less food. Yeah. Because it'd be like me going and ordering, like, a double burger, and they're like, oh, no, you should only have one patty. I'm like, <laughs> excuse me? No. No. That's not a burger, my friend. This is America. <laughs> we get double everything. I, well, I'll go with Mark, and he'll order, like, the little burger. And they look at him, I was like, I'm just going to have, like, the big boy one, like, the actual adult size. And they just, and I'm like, how is that not, I'm like, what are you saying? Like, he's getting a little burger. I'm like, that's not a fucking burger. That's like a, what's it called? An appetizer. It's not even yeah. a meal. Oh, my God. It's like a slider. Did I ever tell you, oh, man, you guys are going to know this about me. Shit. Um, we went, someone, one of our friends gave us a gift card to Olive Garden. I don't eat at Olive Garden. I don't think I eat, I think you've told me this. About the appetizer and the dinner. <laughs> Oh No, maybe not. Keep going. So we got a gift card to go to Olive Garden, and we never go out to eat, really, especially Olive Garden. So we go over there, and we're like, we got to use up this fucking gift card, and it's like 25 30 bucks, nothing crazy. And we order, and I order, like, mussels, like mussels and noodles for, like, the appetizer, and I order something else for dinner, like salmon or some shit. And they bring over our appetizer, and Mark gets his, and they put mine, like, boom, in front of my face, and it's a fucking huge plate. And I'm like, shit, man, this is a fucking appetizer? This is huge. I'm like, whatever, pound it. Take it all down, right? And then they come back, and they're giving us our dinner. And then like, they give me my thing, and I'm like, oh, okay. And I'm, like, eating it. I'm like, man, this is kind of, like, a lot of food, but all right. And I pound it. It's all gone. Like, licking the fucking plate gone. And then the girl comes over, and she's like, I am so sorry. Uh, for your appetizer, we actually give you someone else's dinner. So I ate two fucking dinners. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I ate two dinners for dinner. Like, I had a dinner for an appetizer and then a dinner for a dinner. <laughs> and Mark's looking at me like, what the fuck, man? Like, where did it go? I'm like, I feel so horrible. And I was like, like, oh yeah, did they were like coming back, like asking like, oh, where is it? I'm like, I ate it. Like, uh, sorry, it's gone. Like, it's in my belly. Like, I ate the whole thing. She's like, oh my god, they must have put it in wrong as this, but it was like a dinner. You got served appetizer free. And they felt so bad that I actually got it comped, and I got it for free, but I ate two fucking dinners. (laughs) That's awesome. A two for one. Yeah, another one that happened was I went to the keg, and I had ordered, and this is my mistake, ordering chicken at a fucking steak place. Yeah. Because they served me raw chicken. 
Ew. And I didn't know it because it's so fucking dark in there. So, like, the chicken looked dark. I'm like, what's well, weird? So I'm, like, eating some of it, but it was, like, the part where it gets a little bit smaller on the breast. Uh-huh. So that part was cooked. And, like, as I'm getting closer and closer to, like, the fat part of the chicken, I'm, like, kind of noticing the color is weird. So I stop eating it, right? So I eat the rest of the fucking plate. And the girl comes by, and I'm like, hey, like, this looks raw. And she's like, the waitress is like, oh, my God, I am so sorry. She was, like, disgusted. They make me a whole new plate. Oh, Jesus. I wait, like, 20 minutes. They make me a whole new plate. And I'm like, well, maybe they're just, like, cooking. Because I was like, just cook the rest of the chicken. I'll eat it. Whole new fucking plate. I eat it. So I get two dinners again. <laughs> they comp me on my entire meal. So I eat, I get, I like, nothing. They don't, we don't so, get anything. And the point of me, this. And they made me go home with a carrot cake. And I ate that too. Holy fuck. So <laughs> the point of this whole story dinner me, we'll get is comped. Fat Jenna has to come with Bridget. Yeah, dude, I get comped. They always fuck something up and they, I don't say anything. So, like the raw chicken, yes, I said something. But for the other ones, I don't always say something. And they come out like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Or I've waited too long. And they come out like, we're just going to take this off your menu or whatever. I'm like, fuck yeah. Yes. But yeah. Jeez. Yeah. I haven't been to the keg since because of that, though. Yeah, I don't like the keg. I'm not a fan anyway. I'm not a fan either, but I just laugh that I always joke and say, oh, it's my fault because I ordered chicken because they clearly don't know how to cook that. Yeah. <laughs> Good steak, but not chicken. Like, well, oh, but it's medium rare, right? <laughs> yeah, right. They're like, wait a minute, isn't this how chicken's made? Yeah, you just cook it halfway. I'm so like, what oh. are some of your, um, when you're in a funk, foods that you kind of gear towards? Fucking burgers, man. My top two are burgers and pizza. Um, or sometimes if I like, if, but you need to really want it. Like a good fashion fucking sub, man. Like a good old sub, like not Subway. Where? I hate Subway. That's the thing. I still haven't found one because Porta Subs was pretty decent. But I like back in New York, we'd have a pizza joint and they would have mm-hmm. subs. And it's those kind of subs that are just like the hearty bread. You get like the shredded lettuce. It's like really small and you get like tons of shit and you let it like marry together. Cause so I like to eat half of it. Oh my fucking, my mouth is watering. <laughs> I like to eat half the sub and I leave the other half to like sit overnight in my fridge because I want the cheese and like the mayo all to like come together. Something's amazing. But like I have to really want a sub. But out here I haven't really found like the sub shop. Yeah. Chiba Hut's decent. Chiba Hut's okay. Subway's a no. I, I'm a hard pass. I used that. to love cousin subs. I don't think I've had. Okay. Jersey Mike's and... Well, and then there was... Jimmy um, John's has good what's bread. What's that Q one? Quiznos. Quiznos, all the toasted stuff. I loved that for a long time, and then they shut everything down. I'm so talking that was... about like a nice cold sub, yeah. like not toasted. The, the only one I had was, so back home there's a place called Pudgy's, and that's where you get your pizza, Pudgy's mm-hmm. pizza. Well, oh, let me fucking tell you. Let me fucking tell you. They have this thing, I shit you not, called the fucking Pudgy Burger. And it is a sub with a burger. It is amazing. It's Weird. a foot-long fucking sub with a giant-ass burger patty in it. And it's a burger, but a sub. It is the best fucking thing <laughs> I have ever had in my life. I think Bridget's truly this over is here. Why, this is also why I was heavily overweight when I was a child. Um, it was amazing. Oh, fuck my life. It was so good. There's nothing out here like that. Um, and as far as pizza goes, I like mine thin, and I like where you can you can uh, fold it, fold it on itself. Mm-hmm. So I like the thin, foldy kind of pizza, and then you let all the oil drip out of it, that kind of stuff. Ew. I don't eat the oil, but I don't, <laughs> I don't like pat it either. But, like, burgers and pizza are, like, my go-to. A sub if I'm really feeling it. Um, I, I do um, orange chicken. Really? Oh, yeah. Really? Orange chicken. If I'm if I'm eating excessive amounts of orange chicken, you know I'm depressed. Oh, shit. <laughs> Panda. <laughs> Fuck me. I didn't you know just, that. just, like, cry and, like, eat the crispy chicken. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that makes sense, though. Yeah. Mark's like an orange chicken, lemon chicken, and he usually is like a fried rice kind of dude. Mm-hmm. Chinese, man, I have to really be, I don't know, I kind of really need to want it. Yeah, like cheeseburgers are my top. I mean, I'll eat that all day. French day. fries are my very, very top. Anything oh, fried fries. potato is... I'm, You've had latkes, right? What is that? It's a fried potato pancake. No. Haven't. Oh, girl. Hanukkah is it a this hash year? brown? No, fucking Hanukkah this year. I'll hook you up. Yes. So I make fried latkes and it's fried potato pancakes and you can either put sour cream on it or fucking applesauce and it's so fucking good. 
Oh my god. We're gonna have to go Chompies for you to have. They're yummy. Okay, perfect. They I'll also go. have challah bread that they deep fry, so it's like fucking Crispy. carnival bread. Oh. Like carnival fried, fried dough. Bread. Oh man, I fucking love that shit. Yeah. Anything fried. I've been to a horrible. carnival in forever. We should definitely go. I don't know. We should go to the steak fair. Kind of candy, I'm like, eh. So I did see this girl had this um, site called Fluff Yeah. Yeah. Wait, is it the marshmallow candy. one? No, that's, oh, that's Fluff now. It. Got it. Yeah, that's toasted now. Uh, fluff, yeah, and I was actually going to get some, and it's somebody local here, mm. and I was about to look at it, and the f- list of flavors, I was like, nah, really? I can't do it. There's, there were so many flavors that I got overwhelmed and really? was like, eh. There's, so I, there's this baking company called Namaste, I think, baking. That's cool. They do some cool shit. Their cookies are fucking phenomenal. They're... You can get them in downtown Gilbert, like Jared's, or downtown Mesa at Jared's Coffee. Mm-hmm. But I think she does local. She's got some cool shit. Um, I liked the f- marshmallow place we went that one time, but yeah. like, eh. you could you could literally only have half of that. Yeah, but they had that hot chocolate thing too. It was all right, not my favorite. Oh, I just did the bowl. You had the hot chocolate. It I was not my favorite. But I hear like when you're having hot chocolate, like in France and something, like it's, it's legit fucking chocolate. It's not like that watered down stuff we get. I it's like melted that. fucking chocolate. Yeah. Like literally melting it in your microwave and drinking it. It's like that. That actually sounds bomb. I'm sure it's amazing. The reason why I want to go there. One of the girls I work with actually went there. I think she was there twice and she was telling me that it was amazing. I'm like, yeah, I want to drink fucking chocolate. Like, like Augustus style. <laughs> Augustus. Augustus. Stop drinking the Get out of the river. Get out of the fucking chocolate oh, river. Fat kid falls We need to watch the... that again. I fucking Classic love that. Classic one. But not the Johnny Depp one, because that scared me. They're Tim Burton and Dumbo. That actually makes... By the way. They're making Dumbo again, live action, but Tim Burton. I thought I saw that. Eh, I don't know so that's another thing I like about being in a funk. You can play video games and watch TV. Watch or movies. movies. Yeah. I, so I would I always come this. home from work and watch Tommy Boy. Oh, and I remember, that's a good so one. I was sitting there like quoting the whole movie by myself, and I was, I was sick, yeah. and I was sitting after work at Buckle, and I was living with a roommate, and she came up, and she's like, "Oh, I thought somebody was here," and I was like, "Nope, just quoting Tommy Boy by myself because I'm fucking weird like that." Yeah, man, like good food, nice move, like good movies. Sometimes I'm such in a funk that playing a game is too much effort. Yeah, because I've had that. You're like, like you oh, have to just sit, work. and you're like, mm, I'm just gonna veg. What a zone. Sometimes I pass out. Mine is gonna be like if I'm really in a shit mood. It's uh, like Gene Kelly, like dancing mm-hmm. movies, like Forever Technicolor ones. But I also love watching reruns of the of Scrubs. Oh yeah, I can love watching that. Like, I Scrubs, love Scrubs. Scrubs, I really enjoyed. Um, so like funny comedies a lot. Um, the older movies. I watched New New Girl. I. Told Mark the other day because I actually funny that this keeps popping up. Goonies keep pop, popping up for me, and because it's been raining, and to me that's Goonies weather. And I was telling him because we didn't do anything for my birthday this year. I was like, next year I want a Goonies themed birthday. Oh my gosh! And I'm yes. like, and like I want a bike adventure. I don't a care. Coat? Like, well, not even that. Like, I want a bike adventure. I want like my friends to meet us, and we all ride our bikes somewhere, or like we meet up with one person, and we just keep like building the team. And then we fucking go bike somewhere. I don't, I'd be happy if he made, like, a fake treasure thing and we, like, went to find something and then, like, ended up in a bar. But he's, like, reminded me. He's, like, your birthday is in May. No one's going to want to do a bike adventure. And I was, like, okay, fine. We can do it for my birthday that already passed. We can do it in the fall. But I just thought it'd be fun to, like, I don't know how he would do it. But I was, like, yes, a Goonie adventure birthday party. Essentially, I want a bike adventure. End up somewhere where there's probably cake and treasure and... <laughs> Like, drinks, most likely. But I don't know how yeah, it would be done. That's a great idea. Or, like, end up watching, like, getting, like, what if I found something that was, like, a backyard and we made a fort and then everyone could watch Goonies at the end of it. Like, it'd be <laughs> fun. Like, I want that. Like, so that's who, my Who thing. are the friends that you're needing to, to invite? Well, obviously, you're going to be there. I don't have that many. So it'd be you and Mark <laughs> and me. So we still need a couple others. Shit. <laughs> we got Steve. We got Steve, Yeah. So that's the four. four. How many are in the group? Who's our group? There's Mouse, Mikey, Data. I love Data. Chunk. <laughs> I'm going to be Chunk. I feel like I'm me- missing somebody. Fuck. There's the, um, two girls, isn't there? There. I mean, if you want to count the adults, but the kids. Uh, I don't want to. Mi- Mikey, Mouse, Chunk, Data. 
Is that it? Is there only four? I'll check. Oh my god. Because there's his older brother, mm -hmm. who I can't remember because it's a B name and it's like kind of weird. Isn't it like Boyd? Oh, no. fuck you. I think it is. Because she goes to kiss, she kisses his little brother. I can't remember. Yeah, the two girls. But I feel like this, the kids are a set of four, aren't they? I feel like I'm missing one, but I think it might be only four. Brand. Is that... Brand's his older brother. So that's so funny, because that's totally Josh Brolin. Yeah, it's Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> and Thanos was in the Goonies. I completely did not know that. You didn't know that? I love Corey Feldman. Oh. See, Corey... we need to watch some of his movies, too, because I always enjoy. Well, I love Lost Boys, and I'm so mad that you don't want the Funko Pop... I understand that you don't collect those things, you know, but Lost Boys has like a little tiny like pocket right here in my heart. I think it's because I maybe I think it's because the Funko it. is holding the ramen. I that, think okay, I only watched it maybe briefly because I think when I saw it, I was really young and it scared me. So, so we're I really watching need to Lost Boys it. and we're watching Goonies the whole Back day. To that. And so we're having creature double feature. So we're having little like what are they like the scavenger. Like scavenger hunt? No, not scavenger hunt. What am I trying to say? We have to think of a name of our movie date. Okay. Because it's literally both about young kids. Yeah. Like adventuring. Okay. Because like, who the fuck lets their kids realize that there's fucking vampires in the town and the kids go and defeat the vampires? That's what Lost Boys is. Yeah, and I I vaguely remember, but I also sometimes get that mixed up with the old Buffy the Vampire Slayer movie. Remember, because the guy's like, is it the, is it Buffy or Lost Boys where the guy's like floating outside the window and he has like a long dangly earring and he's like, whoa, man. It's like Pike from, what the fuck's his name? From 90210. Luke, I think. So but his name was Pike in the It might the be, it, it might be Lost Boys, but. I think it was Buffy with the kid named Pike, but Lost Boys, like I barely remember it. Okay. We'll so have, to, have watch to watch it because it. it's pretty good, <laughs> but we have Chunk. Mouth, yeah, Mikey, yeah, Data. It's only four. The core group. Who's this Jake guy? Oh my God, can't even remember. Well, the problem is, is IMDb puts them as old fucks. God and I'm damn like, it! I'm like, Wait, let me see Jake. So Martha, is that chick from? No, oh. he doesn't look familiar. Jake, he's one of the goons. Oh yeah, the you're brother. Right. Yeah, he's that one makes of the goons. sense. Yeah, so brother, I don't know their four. names, but it's like something brothers. Yeah. Shit, what are their names? Jake and Francis. But they're Fratellis. Fratellis, yes. So I was telling Mark about that, and then the other Goonie thing I had today is I actually wore Goonies Never Say Die. I wore that to the gym this morning. That's awesome. So I was, and then I was just like, fuck, I want I like a pirate adventure. Like, I want that. Yeah. Um, you've that makes you've me actually expressed good. that previously on another podcast. Yeah, man, so. I love the Goonies. It's probably one of my favorites. I think that's one of my, like, if I'm sick... If I'm in a funk, if I watch The Goonies, I'm pretty damn happy. Like, it's a good day for me. Yeah. Um, besides movies, music's big to me, too. So, like, I was not feeling very good. I'll, like, be driving to work and I'll start blasting the Beastie Boys. Um, like, Johnny Clegg, if it's, like, super upbeat, like, African mu music. And then we were talking about fucking Little Dicky. Uh, Little Dicky. You freaky. can put on Freaky Friday and dance to that shit. Yeah. All day so, and be happy because if you watch the music video, Chris Brown's shit eating grin yeah. is fucking amazing and his dance moves. Well, that's the thing. Like, so we came up here and we're like, okay, man, we gotta like psych up. And we actually played Little Dicky Freaky Friday and we were like, we were like ready to go, like ready to fucking go. Like, yes, I'm fucking Chris Brown. Like, it was amazing. Um, which also unfortunately led us through the black hole of YouTube. Yes. So that's <laughs> what we also wanted to say. Even though um, music, you know, we, we get into those and start looking at um, what music... We were trying to find this one song that I was... Spoiler alert. <laughs> exactly. I was trying to figure out a song that I played like literally four years ago, right? You need right? to give them context of what this is. So we, when we were working at GameStop and when we met... You drove around all the time because I was weirdly anxious about driving. Still is. Still still am. And you had made a CD called Dot Booty Mix, I think. Or was I it think it is Dot Booty Dot, Mix. Dot Booty Mix. <laughs> and I don't oh, know if you God. made it for me or if you just made it in general. I made it for you and I kept it for some reason because we always drove in my car. But it was like the mixed CD or the mixed... Yeah, the mixed CD. It was CD. a mixed CD. She made me a mixtape. 
Um, but it was like the Which CD was that, Dat Booty. Yeah, but it was the CD that's like all blank and then in fucking Sharpie marker. Dat Booty Mix. So whenever she was driving around, which was all the time, um, you would play that with your windows down and sing to me every single and song. everybody else around us every single song. But this this CD actually had songs that only referenced asses. Yeah, she Big, really did stick to the it, asses and sex. So if it was anything in that genre, I have to like slow applaud because you did stick to the theme very well. I did. So there was this song on there and I used to sing it to Bridget all the time and I could, it's been bothering me literally for like months. Really? Oh yeah. <laughs> I've been searching on Spotify. I've been like trying to figure out keywords. We should Randomly, have like, it would wonder come twin. In. We should have wonder twinned earlier. <laughs> I know. I don't know why we didn't do this. So I finally was like, all right, it's, it, I think it starts with a Y, um, like Y, T Y C G Y T G like I feel like it's something like that and I kept looking I'm like asking her what are the lyrics do you remember the lyrics I went to YouTube I went to YouTube I went to YouTube and <laughs> wow where did that fucking come from it's probably Wisconsin coming out it's like Alien <laughs> YouTube <laughs> she's putting her hand underneath her shirt like it's coming through like the chest. Ah, <laughs> YouTube. Nah, it's not even so we, we looked on YouTube. <laughs> but I was trying to go through the history of YouTube. Like, yeah. literally looked up the history and went all the way back six years <laughs> to try and... and it, I don't even know what the fuck I was, like, researching. Like, I want to go back and just figure out exactly what those searches were. It was were, hilarious. There were some bad ones. So it was hilarious. So she's going through and then she's like, why was I looking at Lindsay Sterling hair tutorials? <laughs> Well, like five wait, years ago, what the fuck hair, was I doing? Her hair is pretty bad. Like it's pretty crazy. Why would Why? I look at that? <laughs> no. So she's looking at that. I'm looking on my phone, and all you can tell me was like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure the rapper started with a Y. So I'm literally googling rappers names that start with Y. She's looking on YouTube, and I'm just like naming. I'm like, I don't know, Yin Yang Twins. Are you sure it's not them? No, I fucking know it's not them. Okay. Like, there's something called, like, YC something or YGO. And you're like, maybe. So then we end up falling onto YG. Yes. And you're like, no, it's not it. I don't think that's it. And I'm like, well, just look, just look. And she's looking through, and she's like, I don't know. Like, I don't think he was really big. And you're like, kind of going through, like, the pictures of it. And then, like, dun, bam, bam, scroll through. We get to the bottom of the screen, and it just says, you can say and it. I, and I watched it already. It had a whole red bar <laughs> on the bottom. I didn't it was see that. Y, that's why I laughed. I was like, there it is. It was YG, toot it, and boot it. <laughs> and this song, you guys, it was funny because we both didn't remember it, but the second I read the, the toot it and boot it, and when you said it, I'm like, oh, fuck, she found it. Like, it's exactly that. Like, just reading it, we knew. We, it's like we uncovered the Goonies. We've uncovered When I Willie's Treasure. Like, that was it. So, the toot it and boot it song. Jesus. <laughs> this is one of many that she sings to me in the car. It was my anthem. But, yeah, so. Because I toot well, it and boot it. <laughs> which I thought was hilarious because when you hear toot it and boot it, I'm like, oh, why is he farting? Like, that's weird. He's, like, farting and leaving. Which still grosses me out, like toot it and boot it. Like, why are you? T how are you physically tooting somebody? Like, burp, burp. Know, like, <laughs> like a trumpet. Like a trumpet. <laughs> You're tooting and booting like. Burp, burp. Like. Burp, burp. What's the shofar? What's the shofar unicorn dude? What does he do? Which one? Burp. Oh no! I am the oh, master. I. Okay, so this has to have context too, because this does not make sense. I was looking on, and, and this this is a great segue into our black next thing, the literally the black hole of YouTube. You know when you're sitting there and you're not sure what you're watching, and you just keep diving deeper yeah. into shit because of those damn recommendations yeah. on the side. So I found this guy dressed up as a unicorn, and it on looked stilts. like he was on stilts. Yeah, but, but he so had it three looked, legs. Yeah, it looked like he had actual hooves. Yeah, so he was on stilts, and he had, like, the furry pants that go over. So you don't see the stilts, you just see these, like, giant fucking thick-ass furry legs with hooves. 
Hooves. Hooves. And she's trying to show me this. I'm like, what the fuck are you pulling up? I'm like, so, just watch this. And he did have a unicorn horn, didn't he? He did have a unicorn horn. And a horn. mane. And, and a tail. And his whole face was white. He painted it. And his face was just somber, right? He was like, serious. Was a, he was so serious. Yeah. I thought this thing was, like, I was hoping he would do something. Yeah, I'm like, this guy's going to fucking, like, start flipping. Like, this is going to be intense. Like, yeah. It's going to, like, something's going to fucking go down. So then the music starts, and it goes, <laughs> I am... The master. It wasn't it like pooch, 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 yeah. pooch, pooch, It's like totally techno, and it just keeps saying, pooch, "I am the master." Pooch, 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 pooch. And he he pulls out what is it? a fucking shofar. What that is essentially, like in Jewish words, a shofar is essentially like a goat horn made out of a uh, fucking a goat horn. How do you how do you say that? It's like it's, I thought it was a shell. It no, it's a giant. So it's I was like, thinking like Triton. <laughs> it's like Poseidon. How do you fucking call it. It's like an air horn, but it's not an air horn. It's so it's like a horn from a goat that's all like swirly, and it's all like you blow on it I think like it's a, a trumpet, conch, isn't it? It was not a conch shell. It's a fucking shofar. It's a horn. It's a like cow or goat horn. Got it. So it's a horn that you blow into like a trumpet. So like like he's, a unicorn on sticks. So he she's showing me this and we're watching it. And I'm like, okay, he's gonna suck it, fucking start doing backflips or something because you have a crowd around him, right? And I'm like, he's not dancing great. Like it's weird. I'm like, okay, maybe it's gonna like maybe the beat's gonna drop or something. So he pulls out this fucking shofar and she's not saying anything to me. She's just like letting it happen. And then he pulls the shofar. I already watched it. Out. He pulled the shofar out and I was like, oh shit's gonna go down. And the sound that came out. I can't describe the disappointment, number one, and oh, I can't even think of what it sounded like. <laughs> She's going to attempt it. <laughs> what did it sound like? She's going to attempt it. It was like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was like... Yeah, that's true. Right. It's like... <laughs> I didn't even <laughs> do it. <laughs> and... Because it wasn't like... It was just like a weird sound, and you're like, that's it? Like, that's all he's gonna do? And he's like, bah, 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 bah. like yeah. it was so <laughs> fucking bad, but that's like what it reminded me oh, of, like that. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Fuck my life. Like, it was so weird. And then, like, you sat there and kept it playing longer than it should have gone. Yeah, it got she's weird. She's laughing, and she's <laughs> laughing her ass off, and I'm like, what are we watching? What are you showing me? Like, what are we watching right now? And you're just, like, giggling and just, like, I'm just going to keep letting it go. I'm like, my eyes burn. I don't want to see this. Oh, poor guy. I felt bad for him. But, yes, taking that, connecting the dots, toot it and boot it, now reminds me of that. <laughs> so far, toot it and boot it, which is so fucking weird. Oh, that's so funny. That's not even close to what the lyrics say. <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, fucking but, black hole YouTube. Yep, black hole, black hole YouTube happens quite often. And I see that I do that on Instagram also. And mm. all of a sudden I'll be like on, I'll be buying something. I'm like, how the <laughs> fuck did you do this, Instagram? Like, I don't know why I need um, those lip sucking things to make my lips bigger. Oh, really? <laughs> no, did I you see the Japanese it. ones where it's like supposed to like, uh, it's supposed to like thin your face out, but it looks like a blow up doll mouth and you put it in your mouth and you have to like chew on it. Or there's one where it's oh, like yeah. a duck thing. Yeah. Yeah. So that, and it looks so like, what the hell? The other thing I don't, so this is another like YouTube, this is another, face. yeah, this is another YouTube black hole, that fucking cat licking one, the tongue. Have you what? Seen it? All right. I'll show you. Wait, is it a girl licking a cat? Yeah. With a tongue. The, a oh, plastic I saw tongue. That. Yes, I've seen that one. <laughs> I've seen that one. One thing that I do like about the Black Hole YouTube is the one where someone compiles all of the commercials with people who don't know how to do anything, like cook, oh, or their yes. Tupperware falls out yeah. of their how thing. How the fuck are they so bad? <laughs> it makes me laugh every time. Those are those <laughs> info commercials. They're pour pouring like oh, do you spaghetti. have problems? <laughs> Pork spaghetti, but it gets everywhere. Was it the laundry one? Are you having a hard time bringing your laundry up the stairs? Oh, cracking like, eggs. Oh, they're yeah. Like, they're, they're cracking the whole thing or smashing it in their hand. Like, <laughs> that's an awesome job. I want to be that. We'll, we'll definitely have to watch it after this. That'll that's, make us we'll feel make, better. We'll have to make an infomercial one. Oh, my God. I would love that. So, <laughs> you know what? I think, I think another thing that really gets you out of a funk is friends. Let friends. me tell you about my best friend. Because <laughs> let's 
be honest, like, we were pretty and funky, and then, like, now we're here going, like, we're having fun, we're talking about, like, weird shit. <laughs> like, Tuta and Booty. Tuta and Booty. And a unicorn on Unicorn stilts. on stilts, like, watching YouTube together, like, finding all this shit, talking about, like, having Goonie adventures. Like, that's really, like, what it is. Like, I can sit there and have a shit day, can talk to you on the phone, we both have shit days, and we're just, like, bitching over the phone, and then we could probably go out somewhere, hang out, eat a fucking Sonic's burger in the car, we're like we used to. Dutchman. Yeah. <laughs> Full flying Dutchman, but like sit like what we use, <coughs> words we used to sit in the in your car mm-hmm. for like six hours and just do this shit before really not really the internet but we didn't really we did that with like CDs mm-hmm. like we listened to like weird shit eat a ton of food and just like make fun of each other and other people yeah and like drive around and be idiots yeah like that's what we do so like I'd say yeah one that's a big key factor of like getting out of a weird funk is to like. Hang out with friends, get out, even if you are dragging your fucking feet, like, still go out, you're most likely going to have an amazing time. Yeah. And that's where we were going to touch base on what makes us best friends. This, number one, like, <laughs> having that, like, even if we're on shit days, we can still, like, find some fun about, out of it. Um, the the most- other one we were talking about, <laughs> <laughs> just that, we finish each other's thoughts yeah. and... <laughs> Deep thoughts. Well, finishing each other's thoughts, being able to find a song from five fucking years ago. Yeah. Like, Wonder Twins Unite, like, trying to figure that out. Um, and also, like, you and I switch fucking subjects and gears so fast, but we're... Like, I don't even know what we appear to the outside world, like, when we have conversations. If we're just, like, go fucking supersonic and it's like... And just, like, getting through stuff. Like, I don't know, as listeners, I don't know what this sounds like to you. Like, when we, when we have these where we trail off, like, we try really hard to stay on track. We actually have an outline <laughs> written in front of us, and we try and stay on it, and then literally, like, at the beginning of this episode... We went fucking hard left. Like, <laughs> it was like, we're both having a shit day and fucking Whee! turning. Whoa. Yeah. So, I mean, we try really hard to stay on the outlines and, like, talk about stuff. But at the same time, like, we will start quoting movies and then that deep dives into something else and then turns into something else and something else. And somehow we can stay on the same That page. is a one-eye willy treasure. That is a one-eye treasure. Right there. And that's you are, how you bring You are my one-eye back. <laughs> one-eye willy treasure. <laughs> no, I'm sloth. Sloth, <laughs> love, Chuck. Chuck. <laughs> I'll be Chunk. Do the truffle shuffle. I don't want to be the droopy-eyed face. You just <laughs> volunteered. Droopy-eyed face. <laughs> Words. You just volunteered it. You literally said, I'm sloth. I told you to be treasure. Baby you said no. Ruth. Baby. <laughs> Ruth. No, I would do the Jackie truffle shuffle. Road. <laughs> oh, fucking ice cream. Oh, I would love some ice cream right we, now. Anybody have some ice cream, just bring it to us. So, like, I had this moment today at work, I because it was so disgustingly hot. I walked out because one of our trees went down by the office. And I oh, walked shit. into this room by myself. So everyone else is in the other room. I walk into this room. I go, oh, my God, it's so bright in here. It looks so great. And I'm still in this room by myself. And from one second, I go, oh, my God, it's so bright. I'm really hungry. And they, they, I just hear all this laughing in the back. And I'm like, what? And like, what the fuck? Like, you went from one to a hundred. I'm like, what? I'm just like, my That's... brain is telling me this. And I'm just like acknowledging it by saying what my brain, like, don't. Yep, don't neglect the brain. <laughs> the brain got a poop. <laughs> don't neglect the brain. Oh my gosh. So it's something similar to... That happens to me all the time. Yeah. Like, I think we have very similar brains that we're always, like, spastic. trying to do... Yeah, very spastic. I, yeah. can, I can get shit done. I get shit done. I'm organized, yeah. but I'm fucking, like, odd in yeah. my head. So I... I talk I to myself don't, a lot. I talk to myself a lot, mm-hmm. and I think that's what makes us geniuses. Yeah. <laughs> We're fucking intelligent as fuck. I you ever seen Teen Titan? Street fucking cred. It's that. <laughs> Have you seen Teen Titan? Yes. The animated one? Yeah. The Teen Titans Go? Yeah, Teen Titans like... Go. Okay. The Beast no? Boy? No, I've seen Teen Titans Go, but I was just wondering if it was like the Teen Titans, and it's the other one where they're a little bit taller. No, no, no. Yeah. The Actually, Teen Titans, Titans, Titans Go, the professor, the dude that was the bad guy. Sloan? I think that's it. With the half face? I'll have to look at I'm it. Fucking professor, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'll look at it. Sloan is the main dude. I can't remember. I don't know. God damn it. I, all I can think of right now is, is it, I'm thinking prime rib. <laughs> have you seen that? One? <laughs> I keep thinking of the legs one with Raven when she has. Oh legs, yeah. And I keep trying on her cloak, and then I keep remembering of the preview from the movie where he's like, 
He's like, you didn't save anything. He's like, we save room for the dessert. <laughs> it's just like bad. I know. Oh, man. Um, where were we even? <laughs> uh, we were talking about we best friends. We and we can oh, stand track. that's it. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> this is why we're best friends. We can stand track. So what I was trying to say is yeah. that it happened to me before I was talking to somebody. I can't even remember what I was telling them. Yeah. But it was almost in the series of like... I have to go write an article, I have to like clean or do the laundry, and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh man, I have to go feed Layla. <laughs> and all of a sudden they were like, holy shit, did did you just seriously think all that in one second? I'm like, huh? I'm like, <laughs> yes. yeah, that's my brain. And they're like, I'm fucking exhausted just listening to you. <laughs> Does anyone ever say that to you? They say I talk fast. So like Sometimes one of the girls, I talk fast too. one of the girls at the office, we can have a conversation and we talk very quickly. Mm -hmm. But as far as like, I gotta get shit done. Actually, no, they do. The thing that I have that I'm notorious for at the office is making up words and things that don't exist. <laughs> so like today, I was trying to say shitty and shysty, so I called it shysty or like sh something. I don't fucking remember what I called it. But like, I'll mix up sleeping with the sharks or like walking with the big dogs sleeping with the sharks swimming with the sharks walking with the big dogs so like I said something at the office saying we're walking with the sharks so <laughs> someone's like what the fuck is that and they ended up making a gif of a shark walking like on pet, like little like toy legs so I do that kind of stuff a lot and regular I, done yeah, and I always mix up like the uh, better have it and not need it than need it and not have it I don't know. I, I mix my up. My brain hurts. My, my, yeah. I'm just like, eh. But yeah, I mix that kind of stuff up, so I'll try to say a word, but it's like two words put together. That reminds me of Tommy Boy. I do He's like, you can stick your head up a butcher's ass. <laughs> yeah. Something about the sausage, right? I can't remember. No, but you can take my word for it. Something like that. He's like, you can stick your head up a butcher's ass. I mean, oh, fuck. <laughs> I was thinking while well, you were telling your spiel about like, going from one thing to the other. I was talking about how, like, sometimes I'll have conversations and I'll think of, like, a movie mm -hmm. and I'll want to, like, blur out just a line of it and then continue on with my information. Like how we talk. Yeah. Like, if I'm sitting there saying something to you and I'm talking about, oh, lemonade, and I don't, I like it with no sugar, and I'm like, sugar and Sugar water. water. <laughs> 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 we have to make it work. Like, sugar, sugar water. water. I do that, too. And I always do this, too. <laughs> So she's pulling her neck back because in Men in Black, the guy has like a lot of extra skin because he's wearing a skin. And he's like, it's I, a need, skin suit. I need sugar and water. And water. Um, but like that. And uh, was it Franks and Beans? Franks and no, Beans. No, no. Yeah. Super Troopers. Well, Franks and Beans is from something about Mary. No, like, no, no, Wait, no. Have you seen my. No, I know, I know Franks and Beans. Beans and Franks. But I was talking about like that, just that motion right there is what I meant. Because I had to finish what you said. You're like, Franks and Beans, Beans and Franks, and then I continue on. Like, I have to finish. Uh, the, She's the, a finisher. The one, the completest, the fucking super troopers, the schnozberries taste like schnozberries, and he says something really low, like really deep. Candy bars. <laughs> <laughs> that. So you were doing your whole speech, and that was playing in my head, and I wanted to scream, candy bars, for no reason. I don't know why. That was I, do the same, I do that same thing. If you listen to these podcasts, you'll hear us banter back and forth. And a lot of the times it just flows really well. Yeah. Which is awesome because there's times when I'll say something, I'm like, why the fuck would I have said that? And then all of a sudden you pick it up. Yeah. And you carry it. And I'm like, fuck yeah, that was like a great like pass, but catch, like, but everything, that, touchdown. But, yeah, but there's that time where it's like, this, it drives me nuts because we'll be talking and you'll say something and it'll be a movie that I might not click right right, right away like like you saying uh, something about Happy Gilmore and it'll mm -hmm. take me a second and then like you're already moving forward and that's where I'm like but I need to say the same thing too <laughs> like like was it like, nudie magazine day like but I'll say it two seconds after you've said something before whoops sorry <laughs> <laughs> sorry Mike I hit it <laughs> I'm flailing my arms a lot I'm flailing. But like two seconds after you say it, then I have to, fin I have to finish it. Yeah. It's like saying half a sentence and mm -hmm. you have to like finish it. So the other thing we were talking about was that other song that's been stuck in your brain. Uh, Frank got a poop. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, uh, 
gets the people going. It gets the people going. And we referenced it earlier in a different yes. podcast. And we were both going, oh, it has to be a Kanye West song. And I can hear the first part. Do, 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 do. No, this is how we did it. So we referenced it. And you're like, I don't know, man. I think it's from Blades of Glory. It seems like a movie thing. So then we came in today and you're like, fuck, I really can't remember that song. I think it's from Blades of Glory. And then you said, I think it's like a Kanye West thing. And I was like, niggas in Paris, I know exactly what it is. And you're like, that's why we're best friends. And then we started playing it and then you heard it. Because it said it starts with a snippet from the movie. Yeah, yeah. And then it does a dee dee. Dee dee. And then I'm like, oh shit, that was it. And yeah. we had been sitting on this for like two or three weeks now. Yeah. But we, we got it. But we finally, like, our brains were like, hold on, let me actually take a second and work. And we're like, oh, boom, figured it out. Yep. Like the, like the two to embud it. Like you've been sitting here by yourself trying to like fucking like figure <laughs> it out. Literally it's been like a month or two. It's been two <laughs> months, I think. You're just like, it hurts. And then we're like, hold on, let's activate our wonder twins and go, hmm, figured it out. Like easy. Yep. But yeah, I, that's the thing is like our conversations, like I will find that where I'm with somebody and I, we were, we were in the drive-in the other day. Mark went, to, I said, hey, babe, can you get us dinner? Yeah, I'm going to get us Taco Bell. Really? That's how you're providing? Please make us something. No, Taco Bell. We're in Taco Bell in the drive-thru. <laughs> <laughs> so you went with him? Yes. Okay. I He picked something up for me later. But anyway, we're going through Taco Bell. We're going through the drive-thru. And he was getting like a naked chicken chalupa. I'm like, Whoa. like really? That's what you're going to get? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, that's what I want. Well, the girl's like, oh my God, do you want a box? And he's then he like, there's an awkward silence. And he doesn't even think about it. And he goes, what's in the box? <laughs> and I just go, and I'm, I know that the girl can hear us in the car, but like my insides are screaming because I want to go, what's in the box? <laughs> but I couldn't because we're in the drive-thru. But like I wanted to just scream what's in the box. And he, as soon as he said it, him and both us wanted to just start screaming what's in the box. <laughs> in the box. And I wish we did. Like I wish we started screaming at the girl through the mic. What's in the box? I would have loved that. Like oh those God. are the things you need to I definitely I do. Wish. Yeah, I just started laughing my ass off. Like, and she explained what was in it because he said that, and then he blanked and didn't hear her, and I was blanking and didn't hear her because he wanted quote two naked chicken chalupas, but the box only came with one and a couple other tacos. So we get up there, and I'm like, dude, I think you're only getting one. He's like, no, man, I think I'm getting two. I'm like, no, bro. <laughs> Nah, brah, like you're getting one because nah, we, fam. Yeah, because we just started talking about Brad Pitt and we started screaming what's in the box once we left the mic because we both acknowledged that that just happened. And I was like, yeah, you didn't listen after that because you realized what you said. Um, and then we got up there and he's like, is it only one? She's like, yeah, one. He's like, can you add another to it? But he still got his stuff. But it's one of those moments where you're like, oh. Instantly like click. It's, it's the best thing ever. It is. Like, I do that all the time. Like, yeah. it, it's ridiculous. So, um, mostly with you. And yeah. then Steve and I, I fin finish I everything. I don't have... There's some that I can't finish. And, like, Mark has this sick... He's really good with movie quotes. And we got mm -hmm. a friend named Ryan who moved out of state, which made us very sad. He's fucking hilarious. Um, but him and Ryan would sit there and text movie quotes to each other. Oh, my gosh. Yes. From, from, like, Three Amigos and stuff. And we were sitting, I remember one night, like, Ryan had left, and he, he and we were sad. We're like, oh, I fucking miss him. And we came up with something really random. He said something random, and I didn't know what the movie was. And I was like, you should text Ryan that. I bet, I wonder if he would know that. He's like, oh, he'll fucking know it. I'm like, I don't know if he will. And he texted this little snippet of the quote, and Ryan responded, like, instantly with the rest of the quote. I'm like, that's fucking disgusting, but it's amazing at the same time. Yeah. But they, they'll they sit there, he'll be at work, and that's all they're doing is, like, movie quotes back to each other. That is so awesome. Mm -hmm. I love movie quotes. Or, like, saying it and then guessing what it's from. They had, like, a... He... One of his friends said something, like, I'll give you 20 bucks. Or Mark had it. It's like, I'll give you 20 bucks so you can figure out what this is from. And I can't remember what, it, what the what... Uh... Like... Oh, shit. I can't remember what it was, but the guy ended up figuring out Mark literally gave him 20 bucks. That is awesome. But, like, do you <laughs> do you know the universal, like, greeting? The universal greeting that they... Like, if I said that to Mark saying, do you know the universal greeting? He, like, rambles off this with me, bop, bitty, bop, blah, blah, blah. But it's from the 1980s Transformers animated movie that when they get to this planet, they have a universal greeting that they say... 
And fucking Mark still knows it. Like, I don't even know. That's super impressive. All I know is, like, with me, bop, something, something. Like, it's, I'm like, how the fuck do you know this? But I want everyone to know that you know this. Like, that's why I married you. <laughs> like, <laughs> you, he joked, he's like, I could have been a doctor, but this is what I leave my knowledge for, is, like, random yep. shit. Oh, my God. I totally feel the same way. Like, literally had shit grades. Yeah. But if you ask me anything about, like... I even know shit about movies that I've never even watched. I know who plays in it Weird. and like what it's about, but I've never seen it. He knows like most of the layouts of all the targets in the area because he toy hunts so much. But he's like, yeah, I could have retained information for being a doctor, but I know like which to <laughs> toys. He, I know which targets are like reversed and if the toys are in the front. I'm like that's disgusting. <laughs> but yeah, so he remembers that stuff. Um, it's like when we're doing like Star Trek references, like Shaka when the walls fell, or like mm -hmm. Timba, his arms wide. And I love like being able to say that to him in front of people, and they have no fucking clue. Mm -hmm. Like speaking different languages. Yeah. Like when we we'll speak Japanese to each other once in a while, or Hebrew, just to fucking like say something weird. Well, now we're we're doing that same thing when we watched that stupid music video, and now we're like, brains gotta poop. I know they have no <laughs> idea. Uh, it's little dicky pillow talk. Just so you guys know, if you want to get on the loop. She just keeps wanting to say, brain's got to poop. <laughs> Don't neglect the brain. Yeah. It's like stuck in her head. Why not put dinosaurs on here? <laughs> yeah, he was like, that shit, this shit boring or something. This shit saying? is boring. Put dinosaurs on it. <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> oh, the other thing that we loved to do was dance. So we, we used to do belly dancing. Yeah, fun and fact. I was super excited until we felt like it was a job. Fun fact, we used to belly dance. We were in a troupe and we used to dance and it was we it was your idea. It was it was idea? your idea. You found a group on for belly dancing. You're like, fuck it, let's do oh, this. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know about this. She's like, oh fuck, it'll be fun. We were doing it for fitness. And we went belly dancing together and we looked awful because we didn't know what the fuck we were doing. But apparently we were good enough that the person who was teaching us was like, hey, you should join our troupe. And we got egos and we're like, fuck yeah, we're amazing. Like, we're gonna fucking do this all the time. And so we were belly dancing, but a lot of it was, well, our teacher did a lot of hip hop fusion. So we would belly dance, but it was to music that we were listening to at the time. Yep. Because it wasn't too traditional kind Alejandro. of stuff. Alejandro. Yeah. Uh, I actually I loved it. it. I loved that one. But that was also one of my most embarrassing moments of my life. <laughs> it was the most embarrassing of mine because what the fuck did I look like? It was I'm horrendous. talking about I'm talking about when we did it at the hip hop class. You remember when we did it at the hip hop class? When we were taking that hip hop class and we said I don't think I did that. Unless I, I was showing you. I think you were the only one. You were like watching me by myself. No, I don't think I was there. No, you were fucking there. Then I had you to have done it with watch. you. I think you did and we stopped halfway through. Because we're like, this is embarrassing. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was um, like years after we had belly danced. We were pretty decent though. We got pretty damn good. I think we were pretty decent. I liked it. I still belly dance. Like, I'll go home and dance. Or I'll dance in my car. That's why my one arm still doesn't work. Down. My, one, my left arm doesn't work. Yeah. This like, it's all this squishy. One, and I just leave it. But yeah. I think what it is, is how I drive. Yes. So this I one did, drives, and then this that one today. is definitely the one that would go and do I things. I legit tested that today. Okay. Because I'm sitting there belly dancing in my car to Daft Punk. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm sitting there dancing. I'm like, why is the one arm and the other one's not? I'm like, hmm. And I put my other arm on the steering wheel. I was like, oh my God. I'm like, I finally realized that I never danced with that I'm arm. I'm going to die because I might yep. fucking drive this car. It's because someday. I never danced with that. I yeah. always was driving and practicing. So I have one arm that's very fluid and gorgeous. And the other one's like fucking catty, it was like, uh, catty wampus. Uh, 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 or I wouldn't move it at all. <laughs> I, think, I think we actually saw that on a video. You're like, it's not moving. I'm like, it's fine. That was fun. I enjoyed it. It did turn into... It did feel like a job because we had to, we were dancing a lot every night. Mm -hmm. We were practicing every night and then we were practicing for like the desert shakedowns and like the old one house. We were, we were performing. Um, so that it did get kind of rough and, but I did like, and I always was a dude whenever we had to play, we had like cross dressing parts. Like I was always a guy. I think you were excited and I asked to do that. I was very though. excited to do you're like, that. I want to dress like the guys. I know because they had so much. put a beard much... on you. Yeah, I looked amazing. <laughs> like they, they did like bong run. They, wouldn't let, really they wouldn't let us be partners. Yeah, because we talked all the time. <laughs> Oops. 
and fucked around. But so we did like dragon festivals and everything, but we also were doing, that's the funny thing. So when we were belly dancing, a lot of the belly dancing here is tribal. So it's very slow Boring. and very Boring. repetitive and very, <laughs> you can say it again. I'm going to. <laughs> Yeah. Boring. And very, like, gothic, dark kind Boring. of stuff. Yeah. So, <laughs> when we were belly dancing, we were the only ones in the valley doing this. Colorful like, and hip, life. Hip-hop fusion. Light-hearted. Bongra, Bollywood. So, it was really fun. Jumping. Tons of jumping. We were the fucking colorful cheerleaders in a sea of tribal gypsies. And I had platinum hair. I didn't even have colored hair. Yeah. Yeah. And then Alejandro happened. I mean, it was fun. I love Alejandro. Fun. We fucking killed it at that one. Ooh, like the boy when I dropped my back yep. and I was fucking done. <laughs> the Turkish oh. drop. <sighs> oh, you guys need to look up the Turkish drop. By the way, yeah, that speaking of up Turkish my drop, for like years. and we're going to another spinning circle right now. Okay. Turkish drop. I want to do pole dancing, and they have those rings. That you can like sit so you in. You want me to hurt myself? <laughs> no, I want to do pole dancing so bad. Yeah. It's like so much fun. Like I'll show you some things that I saw on Instagram that I'm like, I totally want to be this person. Well, that's why I picked up the roller skates because I wanted to learn to like dance roller slash roller skate. Yeah, both are very difficult. I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna go and sign up for a pole dancing class. Could be fun. Yeah, I like that. Like, get some stress out of the way. Feel like rock that empowered. Pole. And I'm going to rock that pole. I'm going to be upside down. <laughs> spinning. Mine. Going like this. So I'm going to, my first thing is on the first class, I will run up to the pole and you grab it and you kind of spin around. I feel like that's what I'm going to want to do. That's what I'm going to want to do. And I want to install one in my house. But I feel like I'm going to like get the pole and then I'm going to like kick your legs upside and then I'm going to slide down. But as I slide, it's going to go. <laughs> You know what I think of though <gasps> is all those people Ooh. that do those types of things and they flip over Ooh, and, and then they go and they just. <laughs> well, down. my friend, so my friend was doing it and she was telling me like she was sending pictures like it was destroying her thighs. She had so oh, many, really? so many bruises. Huh. You're putting the pole through it and then you're like screeching down. Oh, can you? Ooh. Ooh, I'm gonna have to like wrap it. Or what something. about pants though? I don't know. I think she did shorts. But that's the thing. I think it's they're like doing kickboxing. Shorts. That fucks me up too. I don't know. We'll, we'll try it. We'll figure this out. Well, the other things that made us best friends is our love for anime, mm -hmm. little plushy, clay. Kawaii. Yes. Yeah, very cutesy stuff. Because we always would find like cute, weird things mm -hmm. and cute animals. I actually remember at one point, and I have no idea where it went, we had plushies that were STDs. Remember you gave me herpes? <gasps> yes! I did give you herpes. Where did my herpes go? I don't know. You moved a lot. This is such a weird was conversation. It, it, was it, was, it was herpes. It was herpes. It was the it big wasn't yellow chlamydia. one. I was no. thinking about giving you that. No, I gave you herpes, then I... Yeah, I did. <laughs> you gave me herpes, and I lost them. I lost herpes. I have no idea where he went. Huh. I'm really upset. You moved a lot back in the day, though. Yeah. But, like... I think I get it too, cause yeah, cause you're all you're very like very into like health and also like crystals, which we're both into, like crystals, um, spiritual spiritual healing stuff like that. Cause that's a lot of fun to dabble tarot cards. Mm -hmm. Oh god, I freaking love the tarot angel cards. stuff too. That's fun. Yep. angel cards and whatnot. You had dolphins, didn't you? I do. I have t I have actually yeah. like six or seven tarot card sets. Yeah, the tarot yeah. cards are fun. <laughs> um, but we had that. We always liked the little kawaii, like cute stuff. Um, I had a um, cell phone case that was a little Japanese set, like Siamese kitten. Did you remember yes. the big one that was all like? Ah. Well, we had that, and then I think you had some stuff in your car. You had something dangling, but I don't remember what it was. Might not have been cutesy. I have a dragonfly. Oh, you always have those. Those are always around you, anyway. Um, yeah, no, the cutesy stuff because we're always like, or like animals because mm -hmm. I know we're disgusting with our pets. So she had gotten this puppy. So cute. He's like now full grown dog almost. Like he's growing up so fast. He's like nine weeks, but he is. And I'm having a hard time picking him up and walking him downstairs. I'm like, oh, bro, like Ugh. your butt hanging down already. I only have his rib cage. So she like gets this dog, she sends me pictures. I'm like telling Mark, I'm like, we're going over to her house right now. So we drive over 
and you're sitting there and you're talking you're like oh my god he's so cute I want to like like push him over and like my punch his face yeah and I sit there and I come in I'm like oh my god have you smashed him into the carpet yet because I just want to like smash him into the carpet (laughs) I'm like I just want to like pull him so much that his eyeballs pop out yeah and like I'm just gonna pull his ears off and I want to just like tear his little toes off and stuff or like my cats when they're kittens I'm like I would my husband's like what the fuck is wrong with you because like they were so cute and I'm like oh I want to pop your head off like a dandelion like (laughs) And the motion of dandelion for etiquette, so you guys know. Actually, I know exactly. You know That's what I do. <laughs> That's how I pop the heads. You have to yes. blow it first, and then <laughs> yeah. So to pop, and then you have to swing it, and then make the crown or the crowns. Yeah. Yeah. Or you split it. Yeah, I'd split and make the flower crown. Oh man, we are so much better. Did friends. you also get that dandelion thing where they like there's a little saying that you get, and then they smash a dandelion on your arm, no. and it's like a pee, like they peed on you. Someone did that to me when I was We're a kid. We're going to have to Google it. It's like da-da-da, and they do this like dandelion, and they smear it on you, and it makes a yellow line. I don't know. I, re- anyway, I remember it makes so a yellow line. So popping dandelion etiquette is like, it's like you're holding a, a beer pen. bottle. No, a or a pen. Yeah. It's, I'd say a beer bottle. It's like you're holding a beer bottle, but then you're trying to pop the top off with your with your thumb. That's, that's how I pop yeah. off dandelion heads. So like that's what I'm like, I'm going to hold my cat and pop its head off. So my husband's like, you're fucking weird. You're a wacko. Or I'll talk about like taking our chihuahua and bundling him in a burrito style so he can't move. I don't know. I said that I wanted to break my puppy's back so that it would stay that small forever. (laughs) Someone told me the other day that there's a reason why we talk like this, that your brain really can't process how cute something is. Like when we tell kids, oh, I just want to eat you up. Like your brain actually can't process it. So you go to the place that's violent. You literally said you would break his back so he would stay small. That's the Forever. cutest thing ever. I love him so much. I love him so much. Oh. I just want him to... I just. I tell Mark all the time because our dog's getting older. Oh. I'm not saying I'm going to kill him, but I keep telling him, like, I'm, like, I'm just going to get him stuffed and he's going to be sleeping, like, all egg style. And he's like, you're not stuffing our dog. I'm like, I'd be totally okay with stuffing him or, like, doing, like, scrubs rowdy style. I was like, Rowdy, no. Like, but I would do that. I, I would Rowdy. Totally. And then he puts it next to the chick's head. Yeah. <laughs> Rowdy, no. Oh, man. I, yeah, I just have this thing when it comes to animals that they're so cute. And Mark will send me, like, he knew I had a bad day today, so he started sending me puppies from Instagram. And I can't handle it. He'll send me ones, and they're, like, trying to get, like, through a door. Aww. And they can't. Or they fall, and they fall into, like... A ditch and they're like trying like you know how they like roll because they're so fat and adorable and they can't like they flop so like it rolls into this ditch and I'm screaming at my phone somebody help him like it's just I can't handle it like he's so cute and I'm like oh my god no like he can't get through that goes back to the black hole of YouTube yeah I sit and watch cat videos oh. and then it turns into those cat, like pet um what are the the fail army Oh, like yeah. how the pets like destroy it. Like there's yeah. this one with this cat and this kid is just trying to hug on it and it keeps going vet, 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 vet. <laughs> like hits him in the face and it's so funny. <laughs> my my main one is like there's this little gif of like a corgi and he's trying to like get into a house and it says something is like my beach body but it's not because he's fat and he's like trying to get in and I just can't. I'm like someone help him through the door. Like I can't like if I had a corgi, I'd be like, no, honey. Like, I would pick him up all the time and make sure he can get around. Like, if a dog falls downstairs, I'm like, no. <laughs> it's so cute. I can't. They had one that, like, fell into a bucket. And I'm like, no, help him. Oh. <laughs> Screaming at my phone. <laughs> Why? And I told him, I'm like, you need to stop sending me sad videos. He's like, they're not sad. They're really cute. I'm like, they're really sad. <laughs> I'm just so sad. I'm like, he's, I'm like, he can't get through. Like, if you've ever seen it, it's that fat orange cat, and it's, like, struggling to get through the doggy door. It makes me so sad. I've not seen that one. And it's, like, trying. It gets through, but it's, like, trying, and it's struggling, and it's so fat. I'm like, someone help him. Like, I can't. It's so I, I was listening to our podcast the other day while yeah. I was driving home, and um, I was listening to the Jurassic Park one where, the, where you were talking about oh, the no. I had to, like move past it. Did I, did I do such a good job of painting that? I like seriously started almost tearing you up in my have. car. I'm like, I can't watch it. I can't watch it. It's Literally not good. Just for me like explaining. Yeah. It. I was like, cause I could, I could picture it and I was like, nope. So not I painted it. it well. I can fucking mind paint like a motherfucker. 
Mind paint like mind Ramones. paint like a Bob Ross your fucking brain. Ooh, I love Bob Ross. They had that. Speaking sure. of Bob Ross, uh-huh. so I was telling you, I have Funkos of that. I got. Oh my god, I love Bob Ross. I also have the dress. Sorry, side swipe. I don't know why side swipe. <laughs> side swipe left. Side swipe. Um, I also have the Jurassic Park Funko with him laying on his side. The oh, fucking Goldberg. Goldblum. Yes, Goldberg. <laughs> Goldberg. I think that's a the wrestler. wrestler. Yeah. Um, with what I was telling you, I was like, oh yeah, I remember I'm I'm starting a new. All right, what I was watching, you'd be yeah. proud of me. Mm. Totally started watching Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. Oh, the new one on Netflix. Yeah. Oh my god, I binged it. All. I cried. It's for the, so the, good. The lady that they did in um, Gay Alabama or yes. wherever it was, I was bawling. It's amazing. But even worse is was the second one where the guy got a makeover and uh-huh. he was proposing to his girlfriend. Oh my god, no, right? I cried no, so much. I was like, why don't I have a guy that makes me a video to propose to me? Oh my god. He was so that cute. That fucking show is so, like... Self-help makes you feel like want you to be you want to go out and be like a better fucking person. Yeah, like that show is probably I want, one of the most motivational. No, shows I want I've a, ever seen. A, a, I want a Fab Five. I want yeah. a bundle of gay guys to make me feel because I'm in a funk right now. Yeah, I want a gay guy on my bed telling me how beautiful my hair is. Yeah, or how gorgeous I he's gonna make my face and all this other stuff. It was hilarious. <laughs> so like when I started watching it, I think my favorite is Tan. I want his hair. Which one? Tan. Tan. I think he's got the gray hair. Brit. Oh, I okay. Fucking so love he's him. he confuses me. I love him so much. I yeah. love all of them. I think my favorite one is probably definitely I can't the remember his name. The the black guy. Oh yeah. Like yeah, his? Like he was on Real World. Oh, his? he's cut fresh. So fresh. He looks so good. So I'm like, look, and his outfits. I'm I like, I want that. to wear all of his bomber jackets. The bomber jacket. All it's the copper one. Oh fuck, they're all great. <gasps> I was like, why? This is so amazing. I but love the it. the Brit. Yeah. Like, so he is from Britain. Yes, UK. Okay, because I seriously was like, he looks um, Arabic. He is. But then he looks like he's like 20 in the face, and then he's got gray hair. Yeah. And then he has like a British so accent. He's, yeah. So. There, I think he's no. I'm trying to think. They they mention it in there in the show what he is, but he's like Middle Eastern. But they're they're UK because that's a lot where a lot of them live. Man, he's got an amazing accent. He has a wonderful husband, but yeah, he's like I think he's one of the older ones. But oh my god, his hair is amazing. Like, yeah, and I love his, like all of the his, outfits. His I'm outfits. To, like, I'm trying to like watch it to like dress Mark better, but I'm like, fuck, I'm learning. I how want to dress, to dress better. better. Yeah. <laughs> but the funny thing is, I started watching that, and I was gonna, I was, I was fine with it, but Mark was kind of annoyed with the hairdresser because he's like, oh, honey, like just over the top. But he ends up being like, seriously my favorite guy on there. Like oh, he's I think so he's amazing. Hilarious. He's so, but he's like such a sweetheart, and like he's yeah. he actually like says some of the deepest shit on there. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! Like he's I already have liked him. I I laugh every single time he starts talking. Yeah, he's great. He's, he's so great. funny. And when he was like wearing the crop tops with the yeah. guy, and he's like, "Oh, this is." I'm like, oh my god, hands down, that guy is amazing. Yeah, I I ended up now. I feel like that's what I'm gonna do tonight is just sit and watch. Oh, I binged I finish, it. with some flying fucking Dutchmen. Oh yeah, I fucking binged like two it. of them. I I follow them all on Instagram now. Like they're they're just amazing, and they just seem like they're generally like are really close with each other as mm-hmm. well. So that I'm very proud of you for watching. Yay! The other one that is like a train wreck that you have to see is a hundred percent hotter. That's a UK um, makeover, is it a show. makeover show. Makeover show. Makeover oh, show in the UK. It's called a hundred percent hotter. It's on Netflix, and they make they have people like you wear what you want to fucking wear. And I'm telling you, they have like I think the first episode is this girl who fake bakes and puts so much self-tanner on that she's, Ew. like, really, like, dark mahogany. And they they have people rate you, like, oh, I think you're a 1 out of 10 or whatever. And then they, they're they taking away from this, and they're, like, taking off her fake tan, and they're making her do these things to, like, get more confident with herself. Mm-hmm. But she sounds like a Barbie, and she's, like, the highest-pitched, super soft voice. And they, they make her take all her makeup off and go out in public. And to, like, engage with other people. To kind of, like, make her grow as a person. And at the end of the show, or this episode, like, you see, they took a lot of the stuff away. And she's gorgeous. But, like, what she was doing... Was I, making her... I'm talking... I'm, dude, I can't even I tell you. Like I'm talking, thick. like, thick... Like, like she puts on three lashes. Like, it's over-the-top crazy. 
what she Ugh. what she was doing and she just like oh well, this is just what I look like I'm like you don't need to look like that mm-hmm. it's awesome like I really enjoyed that one but the queer eye for the straight guy one was like I, I want them to make so many more yep I already am like oh my gosh I'm gonna have to watch like every single yeah episode. I fucking binged it I feel bad that I already watched it like ugh, I want to watch it again but I already well, know I'll finish it and then we'll talk wait till you see the firefighter episode Oh no! They go to a Don't fire. Cry. No, it's oh. all. Li- they all get like a huge crush on a firefighter. It's hilarious. Oh my god, that's adorable. And they're like, "Can you take your shirt off?" Like seriously, it's the best thing ever. And he's smoking. It- you'll love it. It's so funny. Oh man, I love it. Ah, oh, so that definitely makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can finish up then with finding geeks in the wild. <laughs> Yeah, Geeks in the Wild. Uh, it, like I was saying earlier for the shout-outs, it was Cosplay Bakery. Uh, I stumbled across her. I don't have too many interactions with geekdom outside of you um, because my job, I've always felt like I have to be pretty professional on my job and have to like hold things back. And I, I can let a little out, but I really can't just go full ham. Um, so I was at a luncheon for that, for my job. And I was talking to this girl and we were just kind of playing safe and talking about our industry. And one of our fellow industry people came up and talked to us and, oh, do you know the connection between you two? And we're like, no. And she's like, oh yeah, you're both like uber nerds. And she, all she pretty much said was Comic-Con. And she left it at that. And I looked at the girl, her name's Taylor. And she looked at me and she's like, Comic-Con? I'm like, yeah. She's like, oh, I'm going next week. I'm like, I'm gonna be in San Diego. I couldn't go, I don't have tickets. She's like, oh my God. We can share my badge. I'm like, what the fuck? And then she starts talking. She's like, she's, do you like anime? I'm like, I like anime. I've watched Dragon Ball Z. And at Unison, we started talking about Trigun. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? And just the way we spoke to each other completely changed. How many F-bombs drastically <laughs> went up. Um, so was, That makes me happy that more people yes. are professional. And then all of a sudden, they're like, oh, you're a geek? I'm a, it we're, changed we're the entire thing because we were, you know, we were there for a different thing, like my job and what I do, like what I do for my day job and how I relax at home is two very different things, and it's always been hard to kind of like be the same person or like be different. So we were both on that page, like, hey, we're here for work, but the second we found out, we just went fucking deep dived into that stuff, and she wasn't even sitting next to me for the lunch. She moved two chairs down. She was so excited. She's like, I'm sitting next to you. And she literally like dance bobbled towards me. So then I started dance bobbling and we were just fucking weird. And I'm like, oh my God, like I don't see that often, especially in my industry. So it was amazing. And I think the other girls at the table, I don't know if they were taken aback by it. And they're like, I don't know what's fucking happening here right now. Because we just started talking about Mm. corgi butts and everything else. I don't know. I feel like people... Have their own type of weird. Yeah. So, like, even though that you were bonding with that individual, Mm -hmm. I feel like the girls that may have been... Like, let's say they were judging or, like, oh, my God, what are they doing? Yeah. You know they probably have a best friend that they go to, like, meet in downtown Gilbert. Oh, maybe. And... Or, like, all... Yeah, but it's about, like, maybe other stuff. True. So, I think everybody has that weird, geeky awkward side she, they're just weird it was just awesome and I, I I thought it was hilarious I was like oh my god you're weird like I'm weird and uh I think towards the end of the we stayed after and talked for a long time and it's funny because I was talking to Mark I'm like how do I text her <laughs> like, like we're so dating funny. like how do I text her um but we spent like the last 20 minutes fucking talking about <laughs> Ant-Man because we both had seen this movie and we were talking about Ant-Man and fucking quantum like physics and <laughs> Like, yeah. all this shit. I'm like, and I told her, I'm like, literally, like, you need to leave because we could talk about this all day. And the drinks helped, too, to make barriers fall down. But, yeah, it was just great. And I, I went home, and I was, like, pumped and excited. And I'm, like, talking to my husband. I'm like, how do I text her? Like, what do I say? And she's like, I'm going to have you meet all my friends. You're going to love them. They're all, like, professionals, but they're fucking weird like I am. And I'm like, oh, my God. Like, so I, I'd like to do, like, a deep dive with you at some point to kind of go, like, who you've met and in all different genres because I wonder like if there's other people like me and her where you do need to keep something separate professionally and then you have your other little thing on the side Mm -hmm. and how people kind of balance the two it's like with Instagram for me if you've seen my Instagram a lot of it's been my industry a lot of wedding stuff and I don't always want to post that so it's been really hard for me to shift to show what I actually, yeah, it's like what I'm actually into because I'm afraid of brides seeing that and going, oh, well, 
she's not professional enough because she plays video games and all this stuff where, like, I will rock the shit out of your wedding, but when I'm not there, this is what I do Mm -hmm. for me. So it's just interesting for me trying to, like, balance that out. Same with balancing life and business in general. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes you'll deep dive into one thing and completely ignore the other. Which is why some of us get into a funk and why we say, oh, go to a, you know, unplug, do a vacation, come back and, like, look at your life again. That that kind of thing. But it'd be interesting to see how other people balance nerddom and, like, their regular life, social life kind of thing. Yeah, I'd be interested to see, like, how people... Because there's a lot of people that you see... Um, even for example, like, remember that movement that people were saying about tattoos? Like, oh, mm-hmm. tattoos are unprofessional, blah, blah, blah. And they would show pictures of these doctors. And then all of a sudden they would have the doctor in just like a regular t-shirt and yeah. he's just sleeved up. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like that too, where me as a geek, I can be professional and wherever I go, I'm professional. But then now I'm realizing that like when I've been listening to Gary Vee, everything else, like you just be yourself. Yeah. And like, fuck what anybody says, like do your thing. The problem is, is figuring out who you are because you've been hiding it for so long. Yeah. And I think that's what's putting me in a funk right now is because I want to be this amazing, awesome, you know, like geek person that's in that industry, that's doing these podcasts, that's doing blogs and creating this monster. And then all of a sudden I have to go to work and then I'm like, wait, I don't, I have to find time to like do this. Stuff it down. Yep. Let me, let, let me literally put a can over it. Yeah. Um, I'll, I was even like um, putting it out there like, oh, hey guys, podcast number five is out. And people would be like, oh, you know, like Jenna, your, your podcast is so funny. Or like somebody messaged me and was like, I hate you or I hate your podcast. And I was like, oh man, like shit I've never heard anybody say that before yeah. and all of a sudden they're like it made me laugh the whole time blah blah, blah. <laughs> and I was like oh okay you know so I'm getting such great feedback from it from yeah. all these random people like I even have had people following me on Instagram that I've never even seen or heard like and then all of a sudden they're DMing me and like hey keep it up like all this stuff which is great and I love it keep it coming but I think that's where I'm having my issue, my struggle, because yeah. I'm like, I really want to keep doing this, and I have to balance it with, obviously, I need to, yeah, I need to actually go to work, I have to do adult. work, and then all of a sudden try and find time to go to the gym, eat, um, finish but my podcast, be excited, go to my blogs. But also be excited, because yeah. it's like, when we- I'm tired when, after. Well, but when we talk, <laughs> yeah, dude, I've gone home and fucking just out. Yep. But like- when we talked about doing the podcast, like, it's so much, like, we fucking, we just rode that train. Like, me and you mm-hmm. hyped, 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 and then we just, like, came off on a high. Like, I, I get super excited about it, and then I have to try to also bring that excitement to my adulthood. Like, if I'm at work, like, I have to be just as excited about work, um, which I am. I do love my job, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, I wish I could, I talked to you about it today. I'm like, man, I wish I could just, like, fucking stream World of Warcraft and, like, just engage people all day, but I don't. Like, I don't know how to do that, and I also, like, I struggled because I was starting to stream and stopping and starting Mm -hmm. because it takes a lot out of you, and at the same time, it's like, am I that person? Am I able to be that person that's going to stream? Can I I have that energy to do that when there's times where I don't want to? You should totally do this. I have a feeling like these are the things, we should do a whole podcast of this, of entrepreneurship, because this day and age is literally... You literally could do anything. You could literally do anything. So, Gary Vee... He honestly went on YouTube and started talking about wine. But yeah. it wasn't the sophisticated, like, oh, this has a marvelous You swoosh it. Yeah. No, he was like, this tastes like straight up dog shit. I like this one. <laughs> and he just, like, sat and talked for 20 minutes. And he would drink a bottle of wine while he was talking. And people ate that shit up. Mm. And now he's, like, a huge, like, but crazy like, person. But, like, what you're saying, too, like, trying to find your, like, you. your you, like, that's where I'm struggling. It's like, is my me well, and I'm someone super that excited. wants, like, I like playing games, but I don't want to be, I don't necessarily want to be streaming and have a schedule when I'm not fucking feeling it. Yeah. Like, and that's, like, Mark's like, well, you need a schedule, and that's well, how that's you do what, it. I'm like, man. That's why they have different girl. things, though. That's, that's the thing. There's, you don't have to mold into somebody else's stream. Yeah, that's that, true. That sounded really dumb. It sounded almost like else. pee. Like somebody's peeing stream. in a stream. I was thinking Ghostbusters. Like, don't cross the stream. Don't cross streams. Yeah, oh, my Can God. Can we add that? So it's Goonies. 
Lost Ghostbusters. Boys and Ghostbusters. Yep. We're done. Okay. Yeah. Because now I think of the eggs popping. Yep. Oh my god, this is so awesome. I cannot <laughs> wait. But these are the things that we can totally yeah. like. We should watch like have ourselves being videoed while we're watching videos. <laughs> oh my god. But that's the thing. Like you don't have to have the mold of somebody else's way that they do their business. True. Like your business could be geeky um, photos, um, art. And streaming and roller skating. Yeah. Like, there you go. That's that's what you do, and you just capitalize on that. Yeah. You make you interesting. And all it is is just getting out there, and, and I'm super proud of you starting to add things to your Instagram. Because I was trying to show you, like, those yeah. ones that I see are very, like, you know, thought out. The pictures are professional, obviously. Yeah. Um, but the color schemes and everything. So I started doing that with mine, and I had people starting messaging me, asking me what what I was doing for my photos and how I was blah 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 all this stuff. And I was like, weird. Like I don't even have that many followers, and these people are asking me what my, what filter am I using or See, what yeah. what am I doing here? And that's that's made me feel awesome because I was like, oh yeah, try this. It's been hard to try to find the Bridget outside of my work mm -hmm. because I do love my work so much. So like my, again, my Instagram was mostly just like almost like a portfolio of everything I shoot because I shoot a lot of weddings and a lot of other mm -hmm. fun stuff. But, but it, that's it was for like, your job. I like, I'll be real with you. When I finally posted that one that talked about like, this is the real me, let me show you. I'll tell you, I fucking posted that with tears like streaming down my face. Yeah, happy tears? Happy tears because it was kind of a relief to just say fuck it and just post what I wanted to post. Yay! I feel like this podcast is making you grow. I feel like it is too. Like I, I get to share a little bit. I don't, I mean, I get to talk to you. I don't really know who people listening. are listening. Yeah. <laughs> so like, and it's funny because you always tell me like, oh, I'm always listening. I'm always listening to our cast. You're like, uh -huh. And you're literally laughing at us fucking Wait. talking. She's like, she told me this the other day. We need a fucking video in here because I'm talking to like nothing. I know, me too. We keep putting our hands up and like talking to you guys. Um, She told me the other day, she's like, oh, I miss you because it had been like a couple weeks. And you're like, because I miss you, I listened to the podcast. I'm like, Wait. You fucking miss me, so you listen to us talking to each other? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, okay, I, I guess I get that. But it was funny. But So, like, I don't, I personally don't listen to them. I haven't had time to listen. And I don't know if there's something that makes me a little scared to listen to it. But I just haven't had time. They're so fucking hilarious. I swear to God. <laughs> like, I, we've now gone Inception, podcast of podcasts. <laughs> podcast of podcasts. Podcast. <laughs> So I literally will go, because I have them on my iTunes, Yeah. and I will like, oh, I remember this one, and I'll go back to like episode two, and then I'll read like the blurb of what I wrote, and I'll be like, oh, okay, like listen to a couple of things, and yeah. I'll go, oh, I'll go to four, and oh, I'll go to one, and then I'm like, oh, that one's not as good, so I'll go to like, <laughs> <laughs> but I'll li listen to them full on through the whole thing, Yeah. because I just want to hear what we sound like and what we say, and I want to make sure that the, the, um... Mike sounds good. No way she's going to fucking filter me. There's no way on that. Well, I don't filter myself. <laughs> I sound like an I, idiot. You know, and I think we've grown a little bit too because I laughed because at the beginning you were, we were like, we're fucking up the The, the intro. And intro was like, bad. And she's like, hold on, we got to redo it. I'm like, fuck it, dude. Just let it fly, man. Like, don't worry about it. Just let it go because those are my favorite. We're in the middle of a conversation. And then you're I was just, talking about my hair. Oh, yeah. I she, hit, she I hit, record hit record on this one. <laughs> yeah, I hit record. I was like, fuck it. We're doing it live. I was trying to say that when I put my hair up today, it had these like two little Asian it things so that cute. went down. Really? Yeah. It, kept, it was like all over the no, place. No, it was super cute. I noticed it today. I was like, ah. Uh, <laughs> Dang yeah, it, I should have left it. And then I pulled it out and you were telling me. <laughs> I pulled, pulled it out. <laughs> we're just digressing, digressing. This but no. Over an hour, it goes to the gutter. I listen to our podcast, and I think you should too. Yeah. And if it makes you feel any better, we can totally listen to it together. But no, we will I, seriously just laugh. I'm excited because I, I have a vacation coming up, and I am looking forward to <laughs> listening to it. Because I, I do want to go back and listen. Because it's like run of, like going through a... Run me this thing. Yeah, talk. It's like a photo time. photo album. That's kind of cool. like, oh man... It's already out there. Yeah, that's true. It's on the interweb. But yeah, I feel like it's definitely making me like post a little bit more than of stuff that's just me. Like I feel like, oh, I can dip my toe in the water and kind of just like let a little bit more out and be like, oh no, yeah, I'm, I'm not just a wedding photographer. I'm this. I'm this as well. Yeah, which is kind of nice. Which I think also with being in my funk right now is 
I started playing WoW again, mm-hmm. and I thought that was so much fun while we sat and played WoW Mark's, together. Mark said, even being on the Discord with us, he's like, I had so much fun. He's like, you really, like, if you're playing with friends, you really don't even have to sit and do anything. He was like, I had so much fun that night. That is so awesome. Yeah. I would, like, literally, when I got signed in yesterday, I think mm-hmm. it was, and you weren't there, or Mark wasn't there, I was like... And I got Sad excited. I'll, I'll have to say, I, I got sat excited. I on day waiting all day for you to play. I'm like watching this offline, offline, and then I finally signed off, and I was like, fuck it, and then you signed on, I'm like, I was playing Destiny, and Mark's, oh, like, yeah. Mark's like, Jenna's online, I'm like, yes! <laughs> I quickly That's signed. so funny, because... And he's like, Steve's online, Steve's online! I'm like, yes! Well, well I, I saw, I saw um, Steve's character, I didn't know it was Steve's character at, at first, like at a glance I saw, um, is it Emiss- Emissary of Fate? What's his guild? Yeah, Emissary Fate. So I saw that and I was like, Mark? And then I was like, oh, it was Steve's. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, I'm already playing with you. <laughs> yeah, no, I, so, so I'm excited because I get to kind of experience stuff. I know we've been kind of going through quests. So, so far, how are, how is your welcoming back party to WoW? Well, what did I say earlier? I'm like, oh man, I didn't play that much. Yeah. Only like three hours. Yeah, she said that nonchalantly. <laughs> oh, I only played a little, like three hours last night. I'm like, fuck, that's a long time. <laughs> I know. Well, and every time we play, I turn, and I'm like, holy shit, how is it 11 or 12? Yeah. It's like so quick. Yeah, and it goes so fast. Same with this podcast, but with um, World of Warcraft. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm like absolutely in love with it, but it's, and, and it's almost like... It, like walking into like a candy store and going like, oh my god, so much stuff. There's so much. So I just got to Ogremar again. Oh shit! And When's the last time you've been there? Because it changed I know. a lot. It, it changed, um, but I'm also having some anxiety because I feel like where do you? Go? I I want to learn more. I want to understand the game more, yep. and I want to be more knowledgeable of how do I actually create a good character? Because now I'm having people come up to me that found out that I'm playing WoW. Yeah. And asking me all these questions. You're like, I don't like, fucking know. Oh, you know, I'm going to be this demon, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I'm a undead warlock because I've been an undead warlock forever. And now I'm a, you know, blood elf warlock. Yeah. Again, I have not changed a class. I haven't done, like, I haven't changed anything. Yeah. I'm in my comfort zone. So now I'm kind of like freaking out. I'm like, do I start a new character? Like, And you're level 20. Yeah, I got my mount. The hard I got part my is, void walker. I feel like it's hard, cause especially when you're low level and you hear other people talking about other classes. Mm-hmm. And they go, oh, well, Warlock's the hardest one to level. Or they say something like that. And you go, shit, did I make the right choice? Yeah. Did I pick the right race for that? I That's exactly worry. how I feel. I yeah. feel like a midlife crisis already at level 20. I'm like, do yeah. I change? Do I change, like, faction? Like, what, what am I supposed to do here? And so it's kind of um, crummy because I want to know everything. I want to understand armor better. Yeah. Because people are like, oh, I'm decked out in this, this, and this. And I'm like, I don't even know what that is. I got herbalism. Yeah. So I'm like just doing that because it gives you XP each time that you're going around. Um, But I'm like, I don't even know like what the best is or like how do you figure out. Like I'm like, well, everybody always needs healers. And I'm like, maybe I should go and do something like that. I'm like, or do I go do a tank? Like. I want to no. be I want to be somebody that's special. <laughs> you want to be needed. Yes, exactly. That's, that's where I've got. So like when I played Final Fantasy 11, I was I went through that whole thing of like, well, I wanted to be needed because that whole thing at the time you had to party with six other people, and if you weren't a tank and a healer, chances are you weren't going to get in a fucking party, and mm-hmm. then you'd sit there and not level. So it turned into that, and I leveled up like a bard because it was the most in demand thing. Like I would be getting chat invites or party invites when I was a non so people didn't know what job I was but they knew oh yeah Jinxie that's the bard so they would automatically invite me so and to the point where I was playing Japanese parties too so because I was so bad I didn't sleep I just slept at night yeah those were elite because you're like fuck man they know how to level but for World of Warcraft I got into the same thing because I was playing with Mark and he was raiding and I'm like I want to do that number one it's fucking hard and I I don't have the patience to learn some of the stuff or like sometimes they'll raid twice a week but they're on there for hours trying to kill a boss and lots of frustration and you have to be geared up and you have to be like prepared for that and running dungeons so I ran into that same thing where like well I want to be needed I'm going to play paladin or I'm going to make a healer and I don't think you really can just worry about that stuff I say play what you want to play really enjoy the character that you're in if you're not feeling it at level 20 then Play something else on the side to see what you like. Like, I think oh. I started and stopped plenty of characters. How, what was the one that you were playing the other day? That monk? Yeah, I was... How do you get that? That's the panda race. 
So I actually have to play the panda? You play the panda. But how do I... So can I play the panda right now? I don't know. Can you? I don't know. Have you bought... What it... I have Legion and Azeroth and... Then yeah. So he's... The option down below, you play a panda. Yeah, he's down there. Yeah, you play the panda and then you go But it's not like a death knight that's at level 70 or whatever. No. So you play the panda and you go through the starting zone and once you finish the starting zone from there, you decide if you're going to be Horde or Alliance. Because that character can choose either or. Interesting. Maybe I should start that. Yeah, the panda was interesting. I finished and got all the way out of the starting zone, and I'm not sure if I want to keep going with it. Because I was like, oh, I don't know if I like the look of it. And he's like level 17, and I might trash it and start something else. You mean the one that you that I was with leveling me? with me the other day? No, I think I brought Getty. I was playing yeah. a rogue too, and I and that's a goblin. So rogue. how how do you get that? The goblin's just in there. So I was playing the goblin rogue, and then I was like, nah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that because I've never played. But is a rogue. that an heirloom that you were playing as a monk? What? Weren't you playing? No, like... I was playing as the mage, Getty. I felt like you were super badass, though. Yeah, I played as a frost mage. My monk, I didn't bring. Okay. Yeah, I only brought my mage. So the, but what's the difference between a frost mage then? See, these are the things I need to learn. So the <laughs> death suspects. I was playing a frost mage because when I first started playing with you guys, I was arcane, mm -hmm. so I was doing different magic. But I was reading online that leveling. Frost Mage is easier than Arcane, so I switched my specs and I was playing with that because I can do Frost, Fire, or Arcane. Because you have different specs on your Warlock, you mm -hmm. can change your have, specs, yeah, like demon. demonology or something yeah. like that. Which so I you, just keep Affliction on. Yeah, so you can change like your specs, so that's a little bit different. And a lot of it's just kind of looking. I would look at, I think, Icy Veins, but I just Google like. I'll just have to have frost. you <laughs> show me when, yeah, like when I, we're done. A lot of the stuff I just Google like Frost Mage rotation. And they'll tell you how your rotation should be set up. What should be easier. Rotation for leveling. I don't worry too much about like multi like dungeons and raids. Because at that level I'm just not worried about it. When I play my hunter I just picked a rotation. And I didn't care if I wasn't the strongest. Because usually I don't like to play raid stuff until it's like an expansion behind because mm -hmm. i like to go because i don't normally can, i can't normally get a whole party together because everyone's doing content so usually it's like a random day and mark will go with me and maybe we'll get another person so if i'm playing older expansions i only need like three people and we'll run through a dungeon and go farm gear because i don't care if my tier gear like to look cool i don't care if my tier gear is like four expansions behind i don't need to be at content like I don't need to be raiding I don't need to be the strongest I need to be in order to defeat the boss while it's out like I'll fuck it I'll kill it in like two expansions later I don't care <laughs> like the next expansion they'll make like it'll be easier to go through the current expansion dungeon so I'll still be able to get the content I'm just waiting to do it later yeah so like I haven't done any of the legion stuff I have never killed Argus and I'm probably not going to until battle for Azeroth comes out I don't care. It doesn't bother me any. Well, that means I get to come with you. Yeah, I'm totally down <laughs> with that. Like, I'm excited to kind of go through the other expansions, and I kind of want to have what make you do what I did, which was, like, kind of play through the story to kind of put together a timeline. Because mm -hmm. I was Googling, Googling uh, the timelines for World of Warcraft and kind of trying to play as much as vanilla as I could. So it's like, oh, this happened, and then this girl's actually a dragon, so this is why you went to the raid. So I'd read up why they were going to these places, and like playing it in order. So it kind of made sense of like the story, how it was going, and this was trying to avoid the books at the time, because the yeah. books are all over the place. So it was like kind of playing through the content, and there's certain things you can't do anymore, because they've taken out like quest lines and stuff, but trying to play through it made it a little bit easier, and made the game, like the lore more exciting for me to, to mm -hmm. watch. I would recommend, because Mark wasn't telling you about it, there is a YouTube channel, and they have, they go through... Why wasn't he telling me about it? I don't know, he's weird. He's I like... think because he's like, she wants to read. I'm like, fuck that. So she, uh, <laughs> it's a YouTube channel, and it's, I'll have to find it and send it to you, but it's essentially War, World of Warcraft 3, which is all about the Lich King and how he becomes the Lich King. And it's a playthrough, but it's, like, everything. So it's long. Like, it's like watching a movie. Legit. Wow. And you can finally, you can watch the playthrough of it and see why the Lich King became who he is and all that shit and how Thor, Thor, Thrall became who he was. Um, but someone else also went and they made a machinima, which is when they they make it, like, 
like a music video, but they're taking the models. Mm -hmm. They did that, and they've made... There's a book that they made a movie on on YouTube. So you can see the characters as the character models in the game, and they play out like a script. They play out the movie that was... Like, they interpreted it from the book. That is freaking awesome. I found it very awesome, and I found it very helpful when it came to lore, because there is so much to cover. Yeah. That it's just kind of overwhelming. It, I was going to just say, it's overwhelming. Yeah. <laughs> Especially so, with me starting, I'm like, well, I don't even know where to go. Well, and that's why I kept it segmented into, all right, I'm going to play this like it was vanilla, and I'm only going to explore the content that I was able to explore at that time. Mm -hmm. So I was only playing until a certain thing and playing through the timeline and figuring out what was happening from start to finish. That, I compartmentalized each one, so when I played through it, it was like, I was experiencing the content for the first time. Yeah. And like watching the correct cut scenes that go with whatever needs to go with it. That was easier for me in my in my professional yeah. well opinion. You'll have to put that up on here so I can see it yep. and watch it. Now yep. I want to go play World of Warcraft. Well, I think that's good because we are well over the time that we have been. Yay! This is one of the that's longest even... ones. No. Really? No. It actually is, and it's about the same as the other ones. Yeah, but now I'm, like, hyped for World of Warcraft. I know. I'm so excited. Now I want to go get Fucking... literally a Flying Dutchman. <laughs> Like, I bet I could talk Mark into burgers. Dude, let's all go to Flying Dutchman. <laughs> Get burgers and go play WoW. Go play WoW because I seriously... And I want to see, like, with you being on Discord, I like it because I can ask you questions. Yeah. Instead of, like, I've told you before when I'd play, like, people would run past me. Yeah. And when you weren't on yesterday and I was in Ogremar, I had this stupid quest to find red balloons for that little kid. Oh, Do you remember that is one? Is that the children's quest, though, for holiday stuff? No, I don't think no, so. Don't he's like over in the corner in Ogremar in the Valley of Spirits. Mm. Or no, he's not in the Valley of Spirits, but most of the balloons were in Valley of the Spirits. I don't know. Anywho, but I was it. like walking around and I was like, anybody help me? I'm trying to find... Okay, see ya. You're like on Discord, caw, -caw. <laughs> Yeah, like, <laughs> where are you guys going? The funny thing about it is since mine's push to talk, I forget to push to talk. So I think I'll you're talk, doing that. I'll talk to you, and I'm like, fuck, and then I'll have to, like, push it, but I'll be asking Mark questions, thinking you can hear it. So I, he made me... You need to, you need to switch it so I can actually hear you. He switched it so I would have to push to talk, but yeah, I'll do some things where, or I'm, like, talking, and I take my hand off the button, and mid, I'm like, fuck. You, you did, mid yeah. Sense. I'm like, damn it. I was like, I think she, because you keep cutting in and out, and I'm like, yeah, oh, I know. I just leave this thing on. But yes, we're going to go play World of Warcraft now. Because... We got hyped. We, we got hyped. <laughs> I'm going to eat some fucking meat in a box and go play World of Warcraft. So, on that note, as always, <laughs> make sure to geek, geek responsibly. responsibly. Thank you. And good night. <laughs> good night. You can't stay here, but... What is it? You can't, you can't go home, but... You, wait, you wait, can't. You, you can't go home. <laughs> Everyone can go home. This is you what Bridget was saying. Ah, oh, shit. You don't need to go home, home but, but you can't, can't stay here. here. Peace out. Bye. <laughs>